And welcome back. Hair loss is something that just about everybody deals with as we get older. And here to talk about that and what we can do to combat that a little bit is Dr. Timothy Joshin of Contour Dermatology in Palm Desert. He joins us now to talk about uh, pattern baldness that impacts both men and women, Doc, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, talk about uh, some of the newer approaches to dealing with this problem. Well, the technique has really evolved from taking plugs, large plugs of hair and transplanting it from the back to the front. Okay. And then we went to harvesting a strip from the back of the hair and cutting that into little pieces and then placing those hairs in the front. Now what we're doing is we're going back to the old technique of taking a plug, but instead of taking a large plug of hair, what we're doing is we're using this device to take a tiny individual hair. It's like hair. a little tiny needle here. Exactly, in your hand. Yeah. exactly. It's like a drill that'll take an individual hair, and then we take that individual hair and then we place it in the front. And this creates a very natural hairline as opposed to the doll head look we used to see in the original hair transplants. All right, and you say that um, the uh, staying power, if you will, of these uh, transplanted uh, hair is, is, is pretty good over time. It's very good because uh, there are two techniques really. There's a strip technique where, the, where we take a strip of hair mm -hmm. that looks like this and then we have the new technique where we take an individual hair. Yeah. Now when we take the strip... We have how, how long does it last once, once they get these uh, implanted up here up front? Sure. Like they're you're talking they're about. forever. I mean okay. when you transplant those hairs, this hair is resistant to hair loss. This, this, these hairs okay. that we take are resistant to hair loss. So these hairs are really forever. It's just when we harvest the hairs we just have to make sure we don't cut them in half because if we cut them in half, they will die and not survive. So with okay. the strip technique, we have about a 90% survival. And people say with the follicular unit extraction, the individual mm -hmm. hairs, we're getting about a 70, 80% survival with the hairs. With the hairs that are transplanted. And what's the cost of, of undergoing a procedure like this? Um, typically for a strip graft, it's going to be about $3 a graft out there. If you go to some of the bigger chains, they're going to be about $5 a graft. With the individual hairs, you're, you're doubling the cost typically about 5 to $10 a graft. Okay, so a total procedure is what anywhere from two to three thousand dollars on average on average uh, something like that yes. okay what do you say to someone who says you know doc uh, I uh, why don't I just toss a rug on top of my head basically uh, you know what, what what's the advantage of, of taking this approach as opposed to maybe going some other route sure well I think there are a lot of advantages to doing this because it looks natural a rug never looks natural I yep. mean you can always look at a rug and say that that doesn't look quite right so to me that's the big thing and also it's a lot of maintenance and um, you know it, they do lift up a little bit. They just don't look right. Okay. So, I mean, if you want to have hair, I say this is the this way, is the to, best go. way to go. Yes, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And you're saying you're doing, uh, what, two or three of these procedures a month uh, in your uh, two office? Two or three a week. Typically. A week. Yes. Okay. Yes. Terrifically. Yes. Now, for those who aren't quite at the stage where they want to take this approach, what would you say to people at home who are experiencing hair loss or, or who might be concerned about it? What can we do to protect and keep the hair we have? Sure. Well, you know, first of all, you want to get an evaluation by a dermatologist because you want to see if there's any systemic thing going on with your, your body that's causing your hair to fall out. Because if there is, then we can reverse it. Otherwise, for men, I say use over-the-counter Rogaine. For women, use over-the-counter Rogaine. And for men, we have great pills that, that are very effective for, for taking care of hair loss. Okay. Does wearing hats uh, cause hair loss? No. No, that's a myth. There's no... No, no connection there whatsoever. No, no, no. no okay, no. cool. Yeah. All right, uh, Dr. Timothy Joshin, it's always great to have you in studio. Contact information is there on the screen. Uh, thanks for joining us, and it, it really sounds like it's a pretty interesting uh, approach. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Tim. Okay. All right, uh, thanks for uh, being with us for this segment. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after this.